the military says is that it's looking for cheaper ways to conduct its mission, but still to conduct that mission. In the past, the Pentagon has used $6 billion frigates and modified anti-submarine planes to search the Caribbean for drug smugglers, but there's a new fiscal reality thanks to that budget sequestration. Now the Pentagon is testing blimps like this one. It might also use unmanned drones. Blimps have already been used along the border of the U.S. and Mexico. This will be the first time they have been used, Eric, at sea. So, will the blimps be as effective as having warships patrolling the Caribbean? As you might imagine, the answer is no, they will not. At a briefing last month, Marine General John Kelly said that for every ship that is pulled out of the region, another 20 to 25 tons of drugs will make it through to the U.S. Last year, authorities say that they stopped more than 150 tons of cocaine from coming ashore. To give you some perspective, American officials say they'll now have to rely more on governments in Latin America to police the situation. So, Eric, uh, from flight delays that we heard about last week now to this, the sequester being felt almost everywhere.